watching the bread. Chest of the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chest of the bread. Chest of the bread. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I'll give you a second to subscribe. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I'm patient. Okay, that was more than enough time. To be honest with you guys, I was gonna do like this whole like update where have I been video, but I figured that y'all would just much rather me just put out a story time video because I've been getting y'all, y'all don't know how many DMs and even emails that I've gotten about when am I gonna do another story time? Where's the story times at? Girl, where is the story time? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this story time out for you guys and just give you guys a quick little update before I get into the story. So it really wasn't like this big ordeal or this big situation. I really just was not feeling it. I wasn't feeling good mentally. I wasn't feeling good physically. So I just didn't have any energy to get up and pick up the camera and film anything, story times, vlogs. I did vlog some before I started feeling like bad, but I didn't do anything with that footage. So I might put that into the vlogs that I'm currently filming right now. Just with everything going on in the world, I know y'all know what's going on. So I don't even need to get into that because I don't know if y'all are like me, but when I watch YouTube videos or TikTok videos, I watch that type of stuff to get away from like what's going on in the world. I don't want you know, to go watch my favorite YouTuber and they're over here talking about war. But I feel much, much better. I feel like sometimes we just need a break. You know what I'm saying? Like from social media, just a break, just to chill and take time to myself. That's what I did. Basically this story time is gonna be the time that I got a teacher fired because you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta be a snitch. Sometimes snitches don't get stitches because did I? No. This story might not actually be that long, but I always say that and then I always cut it out because it ends up being hella long. So, I'm gonna leave that in this time and we'll just see if I was right or if I was wrong. I don't have any notes for this because this is all coming from, like, straight from the dome. I just have to go off of, like, muscle memory. Not muscle memory, bitch. Shut up. I need to go off of memory. I ended up taking her class back in ninth grade and then I ended up being put in her class again for psychology. I was taking psychology my senior year and I ended up switching that class out for sociology which I'm glad I did because I loved that sociology class but um, I'm gonna tell you guys stories of what happened in ninth grade and then I'm gonna tell you guys what happened in my senior year which is the year that I got her fired because I was done I would say her real name but just knowing that she's a Karen I'm not even gonna do that so we're gonna name her I'm gonna name her Miss we're just gonna name her Miss Karen because that's exactly what she is and there's nothing more, nothing less. I was back in her class in ninth grade and I am going to be honest with you guys. In ninth grade, I had a lot of attitude issues, but it was like one of those things where like my teachers loved me, but you know, they know that I, they knew that I had those days. Like y'all know those memes and stuff where it's like the teacher, it's like your favorite teacher, but you get in an argument with your favorite teacher. Like it'd be like that. I wouldn't say, that I was like disrespectful to my teachers or like, you know, nothing like that. But it was like, I had behavioral issues due to like my anxiety, my mental health, and just like the things that I was going through in ninth grade. But considering the fact that my teachers knew what was going on with me and things like that, they loved me. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. And my administrator, I talked to her to this day. Like she just texted me asking me if I could do this mentorship thing um, back at my old high school. Because like I told you guys, I was a work in progress. This teacher, Miss Karen, one thing about me y'all, I have always gone by the whole motto of like, you respect who respects you. I have never, ever, and it's gonna be some old people in my comments. Cause it be, it be the older, the older women that comment the weirdest things on my page, I'll be deleting it. But I already know somebody's gonna disagree with me, but the whole like respect your elders thing, I respect who respects me. There are some disrespectful ass old people, bro. There are some disrespectful ass adults that like to belittle children or belittle anybody younger than them just because they're younger than them. And they like feed off of belittling children and that is not okay if you are going to be disrespectful to me make rude comments to me racist comments to me just belittle me for no reason i am going to defend myself verbally or physically you trying to get down or you just trying to run your mouth you don't want to came in you here trying to you just trying to run your mouth you i'm gonna get into like some of the situations that happened between me and miss karen i think another thing that triggered me with her is she reminds me of my fifth grade teacher i'm gonna actually say that 
B word name, Miss Heron. I had a teacher named Miss Heron in fifth grade. She was the most evil woman I ever met in my life. She literally would turn everybody's desk like she she put my desk in the middle of the classroom and then put everybody's desk surrounding mine and my mom came up to the school she pulled me out of that school so fast y'all i'm gonna get into that another time but this lady just reminded me so much of my fifth grade teacher just singling me out all the time and she would single out other students uh, like i had some friends that had her another period or another class of the day like another period in the day and they would say she would do similar shit to them too so i know i wasn't tripping keep in mind that i said that one of the classes she teaches <laughs> excuse me is history i don't know if it's called world history or whatever i think i'm pretty sure it's world history that she taught um and that's what i had for ninth grade so for instance say we're talking about like slavery boom one of the situations that happened that made me feel uncomfortable in her class mind you i was in ninth grade so i didn't go report this situation in ninth grade i didn't end up reporting this any of any of this until my senior year because i was fed up with her and i really i know i was leaving the school and i was going to graduate and i wasn't going to have to deal with her no more but i didn't want to have her making other ninth grade 10th grade like the rest of the students uncomfortable because i knew how she had made me feel up until my 12th grade year i remember one time in ninth grade we were watching stuff about slavery i don't remember like specifically what it was but i know that it was about slavery this day i was sitting like there were no assigned seats in this class but i would like stick to one side of the room because that's where all of my like friends would be so i was sitting with my friends in the corner and of course i wasn't listening like any other high school kid which the problem wouldn't have been with her telling us to pay attention or to listen because she's teaching but what she decided to say to us was you guys especially need to be listening Mind you, I'm sure you guys could guess that all of us that were sitting over there talking and, and being disruptive or whatever you want to call it, we were black. But what do you mean we especially need to listen? What do you mean by that? Why especially? Especially? Um, I'm not sure if that's you trying to be funny or what, but we had all like simultaneously looked at her like, huh? she was always brushing off little comments that she made and it didn't make it any better that some of the kids in the class would laugh at the stuff that she would say so i felt like that also gave her like the confidence to keep making comments like that because nobody really called her out and if i ever said something like i would probably be the only kid in the class that would be you know confident enough to go to say something to her just because she's a teacher so i would feel like everybody's just looking at me like I just want to argue with her or I just want to start a problem with her because even the friends I had in that class like in that class it was a majority like boys in there and like it was just like the goofy class so they didn't really like care and they were like a lot of them were ignorant too but I just always fell away about some of the things that she would say another situation we were talking about I don't remember what we were talking about I don't even think that we were talking about Mexico or Mexicans in any type of way but I think that we were talking about something involving just a lot of people and I remember her making a comment about people being cramped in like Mexicans like you like um everybody being cramped in one uh car like a bunch of mexicans i remember her making that joke and she had looked at me and she was like right Chessa? because in the beginning of the year she was talking to all of us about like where we're like to tell everybody where we're from like an icebreaker type of situation and she was asking us to talk about where we're from like a little bit about us and i ended up telling them that my family was from venezuela so and she was just like oh like she went like she did like a little shimmy when i said that i know this is going to be all over the place y'all because i'm going to be remembering little shit that she did but i remember when i told um the class that i was my family was from venezuela she was like oh and she did like a little shimmy and i was like girl like she just be doing weird ass shit. like i can't lie to y'all she just did a bunch of cringy weird ass shit. and this is a situation where i did say something because i was like miss I was like, Miss Karen, what are you trying to say? And she was just like, no, I just mean because like it's a, a lot of people say that in Hispanic families, there's a lot of um, people like you have a lot of cousins and you have a lot of, and I was just like, 
Miss Karen, you are digging yourself in a hole. Everything that you're saying right now, you're digging yourself in a hole because for one, I was going off y'all. I was like, for one, I'm not Mexican and I'm not offended for being called Mexican because anything's wrong with Mexicans, but I'm not Mexican. I told the class, I, my family was from Venezuela. So why are you making a stereotypical joke about Mexicans for one? And for two, why are you asking me, right? As if I'm Mexican. Like you're, you're already making one ignorant joke and now you're considering me Mexican just because you know I'm Hispanic when I specifically said Venezuela. While she's doing like damage control, I'm going off. I'm like, I'm not even Mexican and that's a racist ass joke for you to even be making. Um, she's like turning red as a beat. Like this, this bitch is it's tomato red, like literally. And she's just like, no, that's not what I meant. I feel like you misunderstood me, but we're just gonna move on. Um, if I said, if that offended you, then sorry. She said it real snarky though, real attitude -y, real privilege -y. She was just like, if that offended you, then sorry, but we're just gonna move on um, because I need to teach. Basically is what she said. So she moved on from the situation. Keep in mind that I told you guys already that my fifth grade teacher had assembled desks to single me out and I came into class and my desk had a name tag in the middle of the damn classroom and everybody was facing me and it was very traumatizing situation. So I come to class and I'm talking to, I'm sitting down on my regular area. Like I said, I don't, I didn't always sit at the same desk, but it would be like on the same side of the room because there were no assigned seats. So I sit on the side of the room, mind you, it's the farthest from her desk. We're sitting the farthest away from her desk because we don't, we don't F with her. That's not gang, like that's that's not our, you know, that's not gang. We're sitting away from her and I'm talking to my friends and stuff before class even starts. So there's no reason for her to be singling me out right now because the entire class is talking amongst each other. Like everybody is mingling, like this is what you do before the teacher gets up and starts teaching. So I'm talking to my friends or whatever and she comes and tells me to come to her desk and she's done that before, like to show me something with like a grade or just with my work or just to tell me something so I didn't really trip I just went and I sat um and I was sitting by her desk talking to her and I was just like what's up and she was like um you are gonna be sitting right here for the remainder of the year and this is after the situation about her making that comment about Mexicans so I'm like wait you made an assigned seat chart? Like I'm like oh you made assigned seats and she's like no I didn't make assigned seats but you are gonna be sitting right here so I'm like, sis, who told you, like who on this, on this green earth told you I'm going to be sitting right there? Like where, where is that established at? Cause I'm not sitting right there. I was just asking her like, why am I sitting right there? But everybody else gets to sit where everybody else wants to sit. And she was just saying something along the lines of like, everybody else doesn't give me problems. Everybody else doesn't argue with me while I'm teaching. And you know, that's what I didn't really like right there because baby, I don't, argue with you i check you when you say racist offensive things especially when it has to do with my kind of people like you know what i'm saying like if you're gonna be making any type of stereotypical jokes to any minority and that's what i mean by my kind of people minority groups do not make any type of offensive comment to any minority group around me because i'm going to check you i don't care who you are you could be the president of the united states I'm going to check you if you say something ignorant around me. Like just because you're a teacher doesn't mean I have to just close my mouth if you say something offensive. Like, if I brought that shit to the... Well, really, y'all, what the gag was that the principal at the time... I couldn't get her fired even if I wanted to around this time because we had a principal that was also... He was like a male Karen. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he only dress coded, which this happens in a lot of schools. Only, like, POC get really dress coded for real. I've never seen um a white girl get dress coded for wearing short shorts but i would get dress coded for wearing biker shorts like just just that school was just not not set up for us you know what i'm saying it was just not set up for us she had sat me right there and i pretty much refused to sit there because i felt like she was singling me out which a lot of y'all will probably say that's doing too much i should have just sat there i should have just sat there and then talked and then went and brought that to somebody's attention after class but just with how strong-minded I was and I was stubborn I was like I'm not sitting there so um either you're gonna let me sit where I want to sit like everybody else gets to do or I'm out of here I'm out of your class because I'm not sitting at your desk like we're in fifth grade so after that situation happened I pretty much went and told my administrator which she like I told you I was really cool and we're like really close she was like okay I'm gonna talk to her because that's not okay like 
she can't just single you out like that and if she made you know making comments like that that's that is really offensive and ignorant and it's not appropriate for class so i ended up telling her about that situation and she went and talked to miss karen miss karen ended up talk having to talk to me she had to apologize for the offensive joke that she made and then she had to let me sit wherever i wanted to because she gave me an assigned seat for practically no reason so boom that's all that happened in ninth grade i wasn't going so boom fast forward all the way from ninth to 12th grade i didn't have her again i didn't see her again i would see her in the hallway going to my um my history class for whatever years because she would sit on the same hallway but i would i would avoid eye contact i would avoid her class it was f her we had beef it was up and stuck anytime I saw her. I get 12th grade, I sign up for psychology class because I, I went to college, after I went to high school, I went to college for a semester for psychology. I wanted to be a psychologist. It just so happened that she was the only teacher that taught psychology. So I'm thinking, you know what? It's been three years. I haven't had her since ninth grade. I really wanna take this class maybe i should just do it maybe i should just take it f it i'm gonna just stick it out i'm way more mature now i hope she is too i hope she wouldn't make no comments like that i'm just kind of keeping to myself in that class and in 12th grade anyways i wasn't really like talkative in class i had like very few like friends and there was nobody in psychology class that i knew so i had really no reason to be disruptive it was a very 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 tight-knitted class it was like 12 of us in there farther in the year i might do a separate story time for this situation if you guys want to um i basically pretty much almost got arrested for threatening this girl at our school for saying the n-word she was a white girl she said the n-word and i used to be friends with her before she did this and i got called up to the office for bullying and threatening and all this stuff let me know if y'all want the details because i also got receipts on that i pretty much had walked out of my classroom into her classroom like when i found out about it and all that i pretty much walked straight to her classroom and i was kind of i don't know for lack of a better term i was popping off on her and threatening to beat her up if she said it again and i had a video of her saying it so it wasn't like a he say she say it wasn't like a i was really bullying this girl i saw a video of her saying it it was her in the flesh video and everything and i did not play that so um i ended up getting in trouble not that day like that wasn't the time that i almost got arrested for threatening her it was over text messages that she brought to the um school officer or whatever so when i did that her teacher just told me to get out of the classroom which that teacher that she had when i walked in there was one of the teachers that i really loved like that really was close with me so they didn't get me in trouble or anything they was just like chessa you need to leave the class right now or an administrator is gonna have to come up here so i walked out of the classroom and i told her that i would handle her later and i went to my class which just happened to be the psychology class after the fact so i'm walking into the psychology class all heated and pissed and stuff and i didn't have any friends in that class like i said but i did there was a girl in there that i spoke to just in that class like she wasn't really my friend but she was like an acquaintance of mine because we sat by each other and we had to um work with each other or whatever in that class so i walk in there and she's like oh chessa what's wrong and i basically told her the situation that happened and i guess i'm you know i'm talking pretty loud the class can hear me like saying what happened or whatever miss miss karen is listening in and i just remember miss karen saying but why did you have to threaten her though and so i turn to her and i'm like she said the n-word and miss karen goes that's all she did What do you mean? Mind you, I started the whole speech. I started the whole explanation by saying that this girl was white. I said her name. She was just like, well, it's just a word. Did she say it with the hard R or did she call you that? And y'all, I just saw red after that. Like I was so pissed. I'm pretty sure I was like crying like and screaming at her like, what do you mean? It doesn't matter if she said the hard R. It doesn't matter who she was saying it to. And I was just going off. So 
I ended up, and this I forgot to mention, in 12th grade we had gotten a new principal. Our principal was Miss YBJ. She was a black woman. And y'all, I promise y'all, once she got to the school, like a lot of things started to change. Like a lot of situations that would have not been reprimanded with our previous principal they were fixed right away with miss ybj she ended up doing something that kind of blew all of us um after we graduated or whatever but that's neither here nor there she took care of this situation for me so i remember i got called up to the office um later that day because it wasn't that was like my fourth period or fifth period i got called up to the office with my friend me and my friend got called out to the office at the same time and the girl that got called to the office with me was one of my best friends in high school she's like still my friend to this day but she wasn't in my psychology class so we didn't know what we were getting called to the office for we thought it had to do with something like with both of us because with that situation with that girl that i had threatened over saying the n-word me and her like she also was in that situation there were a lot of girls like that wanted her head for that like i'm not gonna lie we weren't kind we weren't trying to jump her or anything like that but like we were all like we all had known her and were cool with her like a long time ago so we were just all like girl what the f like what is wrong with you and stuff like that so we were getting called to the office and we had made this little video i'm gonna put it on the screen i don't know what the we finna be called up to the office for but it better not be no dumb shit period period that's all i got to say I ain't do no dumb shit. she was called to the office about the girl like the situation with the girl and i was being called to the office because i was screaming at miss karen and crying and and cussing her out about her saying that the n-word is just a word or whatever so it was about the same situation but about two different things y'all get what i'm saying so we're talking to the administrator mind you it's the cool administrator that we both love and she told me she said chessa you need to go ahead and just write me a report of all of the things that she has done and said that were racist and it's gonna get taken care of because Miss YBJ does not play that. The new principal does not play that. It's not gonna go down like that. So just write a report on this paper. And she was like, and if you wanna write on the on the report as well, that you also have experienced things like this. Cause like how I told y'all I had friends that had her um, different years and different periods of the day than me, but also experienced funky shit that she would say. She was one of them. She had had her before too. So we both wrote this report and I'm gonna put that on the screen too. We getting this bitch fired, period. period. Let me see yours. We getting these bitches, this bitch fired. No racist shit at this school, no more with Miss White. Y'all, we're like, we're about to get this bitch fired. No more racist shit with Miss YBJ. Like, it's not, I'm about to get this bitch fired. Like, this gotta go we wrote the reports or whatever and y'all she ended up getting fired for real like she ended up she ended up getting fired the whole situation with the girl that shit panned out crazy like i literally had to yeah it was it was just not fair because i had proof like i had shown the officer the um video of her and everything but i guess like you can't just threaten to beat somebody up because they said something racist like even though that should be allowed <laughs> you can't do that so i still ended up getting in trouble let me guys let me know if you guys want a whole story time on that i'll have way more receipts for that and just way more details because it was a whole situation that happened from a to z this one was all over the place and just hectic just because it was different situations with her and i know it wasn't like she called me the n-word or nothing crazy like that i hope y'all wasn't expecting nothing crazy like that but she was just very ignorant very stereotypical very nasty she was very nasty to me all the time and she gave me a really hard time y'all i'm not gonna lie but yeah that lost her job she got fired and that's what she deserves like what moral of the story if you are still in high school and you have a teacher that puts you down or you just have a teacher that belittles you or singles you out or is racist or is just inappropriate in any way take that sh up to the principal i don't care if you look like a snitch i don't care what you look like because y'all never know how that could have offended or how that could have affected another student me it affected me to the point where i was crying and cussing her out and ready to hit her in her face but another student that could have really broke them that could have really been the last straw for them you never know what how how fragile somebody is so i just didn't want nobody else to have to experience her racism or her like you know as a teacher teachers can be very influential on students so 
if you guys are experiencing any type of teacher that just is not right definitely take it up to the front office or whatever you got to do report her report him whatever you got to do because like i said you never know how that can affect somebody's mental health or just affect them in general so if you guys like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Comment other videos that you guys want to see from me. I will not be doing any more hiatuses. I'm going to be putting out another story time soon. I'm also working on a vlog right now that should be coming out, if not a couple days after this video. But stay tuned and comment other videos. You guys never be commenting extra videos y'all want me to do. Y'all just want story times. Definitely expand your palette, y'all. Come on now. I'm always going to do these story times. But tell me other videos you want to see. And I'ma catch y'all in the next one. Bye.